What is good guys, we are back with more World Cup and we have Bro Kappa versus Vorgdal. So this is team Italy versus team Oceania. I don't think Oceania has any chances to make playoffs, they're 8 and 19. Team Italy is doing pretty well, they're 16 and 10. Not sure if they guaranteed their spot in the next round yet. Um, I don't know if I, if I sometimes say playoffs. Not sure how the next round is called, I think it's called next round. Like, I just call it next round. Like I don't... I don't know the exact name, I think it's just called round 2. Doesn't Pinzer get a kill every time it gets in? Yeah, that's sort of true, like if it comes in... If it comes in on Gastronical Fable, it kinda gets a kill. Yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why it said that's so weird. So let me try to break down the teams. Mega Pinzer, Sword Stance probably. Z move. I could see Z move Tapu Coco. Uh, Z move Coco or Z move Landris. It could be offensive Landris with Z move and rocks. And then it could be AV Majorna because uh, yeah, his team doesn't have good Greninja switch ins. AV Magina helps a little bit versus Rain. His team is super weak to Rain, but yeah, he didn't bring Rain, so let's not talk about that matchup. I assume it's Bandit Zygarde. I assume it's uh, it could be Scarf Greninja, but I'm not sure. And Bro Kappa's team, it's gonna be Spadef Gastrodon, Fistef Clefable. Yeah, Stealth Rocks Clefable, I think, or Stealth Rocks Jump. I mean, there's obviously Stealth the two the two only rockers. But probably Scarf Jump and Rock Clef, unless he's like T Wave, Calm Mind Clef, and Rocks Jump. Could also be Scarf Lele, but I'm thinking he's probably um, Z move Tabu Lele and Scarf Chomp, but it could also be the other way around. Life Orb Tornadus or AV? I'm not sure. I think Life Orb. I think Life Orb Torn, yeah. Because like, he wants a bit more offensive presence. If this is Sky Strike Landris, the Gastron might just get blown away. Let me cock. Like if it's Spadef Gastron, uh, Sky Strike does Oko from Adamant Landris. But he did just set up the rocks turn one. This could. This either has a Fist Nev investment or he just didn't fear the Sky Strike, not sure. But that Skull does a lot, so I think that's offensive Landris for sure, yeah. He even got a high roll there. He, he got a highest of high rolls, so, like he got a 70 roll, not the highest of high, but like the highest he can do is 72 and he got 70. I gotta see if there's any other game because I finally started my second laptop. So if there's a second game I can record that there and then narrate over it tomorrow. Yeah, there's only this Aura's game and I decided against recording the Aura's game. I can show you guys real quick the Aura's game because I showed the... Um, I showed it for like a few seconds in the Jambat video. It's basically Suikun um, being Suikun and just winning every game. <laughs> Switch out the Scizor. So this is gonna be Defox Scizor. It's Explosion Landris, which is an uh, interesting set. Maybe he was Focus Sash lead. So that makes me think that he wasn't Z move. Like maybe the Z move is on. Maybe the Zyre isn't banned and the Z move. Frustration does not kill, so this has a really good amount of defense. He did not defog, so his scissor dies to rocks. So he's either gonna go into his Tornadus or into one of his Choice Scarf users, which is either the Garchomp or the Tapu Lily. Like I said, it into one of his Choice Scarf users if he has two. I think he only has one Choice Scarf user, but one of them should be Scarf. I'm leaning, like, I would make this Scarf if I made the team, but I don't know. <laughs> Holy shit, Shake going in on Greece again. 
<laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, it's not really funny. Yeah, I can see him click Heat Wave here because it hits the Majorna for good damage, it hits the Coco for good damage if he's Life Orb. But he just goes for Hurricane, that doesn't do much, so it's not Life Orb. He does get the confusion, with, which could be annoying for Rorgadal. Um, he's probably just gonna click U turn here, expecting the. No, the Gastron. Yeah, the Gastron is at full, right? The Gastron is so obvious here, I can see Brokapa staying in and predicting the U turn. Like, that's the most obvious Gastron. I, I could write a book about how obvious this Gastron is. Yeah, I see Suicune call mining up being Suicune. <laughs> I mean, this is one of the only ones that helps him revenge kill the pincer, so I don't think he could afford to stay in there, but the U-turn was so obvious that he... I think he might have done it. He did go for the U-turn and did not hit himself. I mean, that he got the confusion that might have... Him getting the confusion, he might have had in the, t in the back of his mind that even if he goes for a U-turn, he might hit himself, so Gastron... I guess when it's still the safe play, if he, if he doesn't U-turn, it works out well, and if he hits himself, it works out well, so I guess it was... That's what his thought process there, maybe? I don't think I would have uh, stayed in there, but like I was thinking about staying in. Did he SD predicting the sack? I mean, it doesn't really matter if he SD predicting the sack, because he still has monsters to scare this out. Second scissor, there was a fine play, because you don't want to let the Gastron get damaged, it's like you have McJourna and Greninja check. So this time, I can see him clicking U-turn, because the spins is such a big threat, there's no way he's staying in. If he has Sludge Wave, he can click that too, but I can see um, the opponent switching up, going into Majorna instead, but he just goes Coco and he just Hurricane again. I mean, at least he connects the Hurricanes. Not, every can, can, not everyone can hit two Hurricanes. I think this time he's gonna click T-Bolt because... He, not, the Gastron is gonna be really annoying, like let me tell you guys, if he goes for the T-Bolt here... He, he goes for U-turn again, it was a bit risky but it works out for him. He decided to go on a guard from to give this Tapu Koku some um, rough skin damage, which is a good play because um, now the Tapu Koku can't switch into Hurricane anymore. Um, I think this is Scarf Greninja because you would not bring out a non-Scarf Greninja on a potential Scarf Garchomp. I'd, he would only make that play if you would. Yeah, he could bring. He could. He could bring it out if he's not Scarf and this is Scarf, and he could bring hard and he could go hard into his Coco and predict the Outrage. Or because I don't think Earthquake kills Greninja from full. Uh, I can show you guys the call quick. quick. Uh, Garchomp choice Scarf, but I think it's just Scarf Greninja. And he's gonna um, probably gonna click U-turn on the Gastron and just get his pincer in and get another kill. I think Brokappa is forced into Gastron pretty much. Um, he can also click Ice Beam. I mean, Ice Beam is still a fine play. Yeah, see, Earthquake doesn't kill. Outrage is like a roll, 75 chance to Oko. Did he just Ice Beam? Yeah, he did just play it safe. Because now this is forced to recover anyway, and Pinsir gets the free switch in. And Pinsir gets another kill, unless unless he goes hard for Scald and gets the burn. Or he doubles out into something that beats Pinsir like Tornadoes, but he does not make that play. So he either has to sack something here, or he has to hope that he gets a burn. Because Return obviously 2 it KOs this, I think it's going to do like 70, 75 maybe, because this is more per death Gastrodon obviously, like you see the Ice Beam did nothing, the 28. No, I'm not going to run the Kalk, I know that most Gastrodons run per death to check Ranger and Magier now. Wait, which game are they talking about, there's a kill here. 
Oh, that's a Gen 5 game. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not gonna focus on that. Is Jade on East, by the way? Because if he's on East, they made already. They already made playoffs. Yeah, he's on East. Oh, I always say playoffs, man. I don't know if that's the correct term. They made next round already. Is what I meant to say. But let's just look at this game. It's still going on for a while. Yeah, this game is not worth talking about. He's gonna hope for the score, but they did 91. Holy shit. So yeah, this might just be Max Bedev Gastron. That did so much damage. He's just gonna sack off the Gastron because the Gastron is at 9% after Rock, so I don't think there's a point in keeping it. Like, it's not that, like, he doesn't even recover on anything. Let's go into this and click uh, Hurricane or Heat Wave. Because, like, he did damage the Coco enough with two Hurricanes plus Rough Skin, so the um, Coco can switch in again. Um, yeah, the, the, it could be um, Z Move Majorna, but if it's not AV, he really doesn't have good switch ins to anything. I mean, it's a more offensive team, but I would still like like if you, if the Majorna would be AV on this team to like have some countermeasure to opposing like Ashgren and so that it doesn't get off the form that easy. Because if Ashgren or like Bridal Bond Greninja before it has the form off, it comes in on Pinsir. And like, it just clicks Hydro Pump if it's not Avi Megina and blows something away. <clears throat> yeah, he does click Heat Wave in, in case he decided to go into Megina. And it also kills off the Pins and it's also more accurate than Hurricane, so I understand that play. And yeah, now he can go out and do his Greninja or his Coco is what I meant to say, but he sent out the Greninja before I could say it. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> There's another Gen 4 game. I'm, yeah, like I said, not gonna focus on old gens now. I only do DPP when I have someone call with the knowledge for those games. And this Aura's game, like, I'm basically not really covering the game. I'm just trying to see who wins. Because this is a super long game, like. He did predict the U-turn there, that was a nice play. Also, Ice Beam might have been a roll, because this is like Assault vs. Max HP. They run Max HP on AV. Did he go for U-turn? Yeah, nice play, he gets momentum. Ice Beam does 65, it's Life Orb. Yeah, they wouldn't have killed with Ice Beam, so I understand the U-turn play. Like, if you take the Life Orb away, it does 50 to 59. If it's max special attack, so yeah, the tone lives that for sure. So the U-turn play is really understandable there. Now he's gonna go on a Clefable or Guard Chomp. Actually, okay. He goes for Antel. His choice Bandit. Wow. Like, I was thinking about if he would attack or if he would go into Megina, but he decided to attack. And Brokaba doesn't even have good switch to Bennett Iron Tail. He might have to hope for a dodge here. ICT's game just started, wow. Versus Adam. So I guess I'll try to, like, I'll cover that too. So ICD did bring Mega Pinsir. I don't know if my man BTB built this team. I think he's just gonna sack the Clefable because it doesn't really do much at this at the range it's at. So it's Mega Medicham plus. Potential Scarf Greninja, so he has like U-turn from this, U-turn from this to bring the Medicham in. This could be AV with Volt Switch to bring this in. Um, but I could also see Z-move on either this or this. Because I don't know what else would be the Z-move user. Not sure if this would be the Helmet Tangrowth. 
Because Fini sometimes runs um, like Calm Nature. So like I'm thinking two spe special defensive wards would be a bit weird. So maybe only one of them is Bedev. But yeah, ICT brings, I assume Scarf, Ladi with Healing Wish. Subtoxic Tren, I assume, Rocks Feral Thorn. I don't think he would be double hazards when he has a pincer, because you want to default most of the time for your pincer. Uh, yeah, Z move Tabu Blue, and then. Ash are probably in Gwen, I don't know. But I don't think it's Scarf Gwen. So yeah, Adam is gonna get up a fake out here, turn one. If he doesn't want to take the damage on his Greninja, he might just go into Ferrothorn to give this the Iron Barbs damage. The problem with that is you don't have switch ins on the next turn if you go Ferrothorn, so you might have to stay in or might have to go into like Ladi on a fake out. But yeah, he, did, he did just sack off the Clefable, which is completely understandable because it wasn't really healing or anything. He goes out on the top of Lele now, and the Magiona is really obvious, so he does double out in the Guard Jump. And the Iron Tails again, wow. Not sure if he has HP investment and he thought he could live. Or maybe it's a roll or something. We can run the cult real quick. Oh, he was willing to sack the Zygarde. Uh, Tapu Lily. Like, it's probably not Scarf, but I'm just gonna cult um, a non boosting item. 90 to 107. Yeah, I would have killed for sure. But the thing is, maybe his thought process was he's, if he's Shifki Megina, he didn't want to switch it hard in because he didn't want to take damage. So his thought process is I'm just sacking this and I'm going with the Majorna afterwards and setting up and win the game from there. That could be his thought process here. So he's going to sack off the Zygarde here after he he 2 hit KO'd the Guard Chomp. And it was really, um, the Zygarde was really well trained. He was able to hit all his Iron Tails. And now I think he's going to go Majorna if he's Shifki and win the game. Like if he's Gigavolt Havoc, that's going to be nice. So he did go on a pins there on the fake out. He's just gonna click uh, frustration. Or return, same thing. Does a lot to the Landorus. It's leftovers Landorus, so this might be a roll. He does SD. Hmm. I don't know if I would have SD. Because, um, yes, you get the kill on this, but like. I don't think you Oko the Greninja and Fake Out probably kills this. Yeah, exactly. So he's gonna be forced out. Uh, I can see Adam making a really aggressive play here. Predicting a switch into like Ladi or something and go for Ice Punch. I'm not sure if it's worth it though. Fake Out is. Like he already lost his Landorus without getting rocks up. So Pinsir is a big threat, so I think he can save the Pinsir. He doesn't have any other potential Star Fox setup, so his Pinsir is freed up for later. So he's definitely switching out here. So I can see him going and predicting the switch, like going for HJK or Ice Punch. He goes into Greninja and he's just gonna click Scarf U-turn. Maybe not wanting to risk Gunk Shot or he doesn't have it. Sex of the Tapu Coco. Now he goes into Majorna. And I wanna see if it's Z-Move or if it's AV. Okay, that's not AV, that it's so much. It's Shift Gear. I know it was a crit, but still. And he does pick off. Yeah, he just got the necessary damage with the Greninja so that he um, can kill with the T Bolt. It was Electric Terrain boosted. And if he's Z move, he can go for that, but it kills anyway with the Electric Terrain and with the uh, Soul Heart boost. So Rorgadal picks up another win for Team Oceania, which is nice for them. Not that, not that it changes anything, they won't go to the next round. I think he's 1 1 now. And he's playing later versus Aureus from Germany. So. I'm definitely gonna watch that. Germany is 13 and 13 at the moment. I really hope they can make a next round. It's gonna be so close. Uh, Bro Kappa is on Italy. They should be. Yeah, it was 2 and 0. He's 2 and 1 now. I think they're 16 11 then, yeah. So I'm gonna focus on this game now. Okay, we didn't miss the turn. Nice. So it does switch out as I thought. And he did just make the f uh, safe fake out play. I, I can understand why he made it because it was a plus 2 pincer in his face, but. Um, like I said, like he wasn't getting up rocks ever this game since his rocket died. So that was obvious that he would save the pincer. Wait, is there another game going on that I missed? Oh, that's this game. What happened in this game, by the way? Chill Shadow just won. Okay, the Grease guy forfeited. So he picks up another win for Team Asia. I don't think they can make it, though. 
So he switches out, predicting the Majorna or Tangros or Tapufini. As he just goes for Ice Punch and gets a freeze on the heat turn, that's really annoying. Um I mean this outspeeds the trend, can high jump kick it anyway. So Adam was either really confident that he can live a Draco Meteor, or he was really confident that ICT wasn't staying in. Like, I just want to see the calc real quick. Um, Medicham. Medicham versus Ladias. Because if it's just a Scarf Ladi, that Mon is not that strong, right? I have to get rid of the Soul Dude. Because I'm assuming it's Scarf. Just gonna give it no item. Yeah, Draco doesn't kill, so I can understand why he stayed in. Because I don't think he breaked the switch. I think he just breaked the Draco and he knew he could live it. Because if he breaks the Heatran switch. Yeah, now nah, even if he breaks the Heatran switch, Ice Punch is a fine play because he can just high jump kick the next turn. He's gonna be faster than the Tren. Like, even Timid Heatran hits. How much does him Timid Heatran hit? Yeah, Timid Heatran is still. Still slower than Adamant Medicham, so he's definitely faster. Yeah, he's gonna click high jump kick or ice punch, depending on if he pricks the Ladi. But uh, he doesn't lose anything from clicking high jump kick, yeah, exactly. I hope no other game starts. I would like to keep it done. Like, I would love to, like, at least keep it at two games per video. So he does bring out the pins there and he's gonna click Frustration or Earthquake if he breaks the Majorna. Um, I think he's just gonna click Frustration. I gotta pause it real quick one second, guys. Okay, here we go again. Just made sure that I start uploading the Jambat video. Jambat's game. And Flame and Vitini's game both are gonna be in one video. I mean, you guys will have it seen before this probably. It's gonna go up earlier than this. The thing is, is it worth it for Adam to let the Majorna take damage? I don't know who his Majorna set. I'm thinking it's Z-Move Majorna looking at his team. Because he already has a Tangros and a Tapu Fini, so he doesn't really need a Grenin he, he doesn't need another Greninja check. Even though bows are weak to gunk shot, like gunk shot is not ran on every Greninja. Like Ash Greninja is pretty common at the moment. I don't see Purine that often, honestly. I mean, you still see bows, but I see Ash Greninja a little bit more. And also, you can still play around the Purine gunk shot one. So I think he might be offensive mid year now, which uh, Z move, and that could potentially win him the game depending on his set. Like if he gets damage on the Feral Thorn. So he decides to go to Fini, this is going to get 2 hit KO'd. So he decided second type of Fini is the way to go and I want to keep my Majorna healthy. Because I think the Majorna pretty much wins the game if he weakens the Ferrothorn, if he's both beam Majorna. Um, yeah, like Ice Beam and T-Bolt kills everything if the Ferrothorn gets weakened. He might also be Z-Focus Blast, which also kills the Ferrothorn. So if it's Z-Focus Blast, the Majorna wins even more because it can kill the Ferro on its own. So I definitely understand why he didn't go hard into that. So I assume he's gonna... Oh, he just goes for Ice Beam. He he does show that he's um, Ash Greninja, so he's um, probably gonna be Choice Specs. The Thorns game started. I'm gonna pause real quick and record it on my second computer. He Ice Beams again, wow. I don't know if he predicted him to double switch. Maybe he predicted him to double switch into something that covers the Medicham, like... I don't know which Pokemon, but I can see him, he just goes for power. I was thinking he might have knockoff on this. Okay, okay, I'll just, um, we will just rewatch. I was away for a minute. I had to do something real quick. So he did go for power whip on the incoming Tangus and the Tangus, um, did for, went for HPIs on the incoming Larios. And then the Larios just healing wished back up the pincer. Oh, it was HP5, it wasn't HP eyes. So the pincer is gonna go back up with the healing wish. It's gonna get another kill here with frustration. Return, I mean, my bad, same thing. And he's gonna go out into... Yeah, Greninja's... Ice Beam, I don't even know if it occurs from full. But ICT goes out into his own Greninja. 
Goes for Hydro Pump, they're both Ash Greninja. And ICT beats this other Greninja one on one as long as he connects. As long as he connects another. Oh, he gets frozen, that sucks. I was watching away for a second. Because I have a, um, another computer in my room that is recording the Thorn game. And I want to narrate over that tomorrow. I really hope the net doesn't die. So that freeze sucks a lot for ICT. If he was able to hit his Hydro Pump there, he would have been able to get his Ash form and kill the opposing Greninja and he pretty much had the game in the back. So now he's gonna go Greninja. And he's probably gonna click a uh, quick attack. Did I say Greninja? He's gonna go Pinsir. I really gotta stop wa watching, looking at my second screen at the other side of the room. I sweat not, ICD has got this. I don't think Adam is staying in. But yeah, it was really nice of Adam. Like, I mean, he knows the pain of, like, he got crit twice last game, is what he says here. I don't remember if I recorded his last game. Quick attacking is risky in a sense if the McJuna gets the free switch. Um, but I think quick attack is the play you have to make in this position. Yeah, you have to quick attack. Because like I said, like the McJuna can win the game so he doesn't have to go hard into that. Like I don't see there's an I don't think there's another play other than quick attack for ICT. And which team is Adam or not? I just wanna see and check real quick. Was it on US Central? Why do I not notice? I will check after the game. I really don't want to miss this deciding turn. Like this, it's not the deciding turn, but this match is like on the turns that will decide it pretty soon. Um, does he need the Medicham still? The thing is, even if he's Gigavolt Havoc Magina, I don't think he's Gigavolt Havoc Magina, but what I'm trying to say is the Magina probably cannot Oko the Pinsir, he needs damage on the Pinsir first. I don't think a T-Wolf from Magina without a Soul Heart boost would kill the Pinsir, so if he sacks the Greninja and goes into Magina, then I don't think that's the play for Adam. Because this probably has Earthquake and is going to to it kill the Magina before the Magina can kill this. And even if the Magina has a move to Oko the Pinsir, he still has to predict between the Pinsir staying in and the Ferrothorn coming out on the Gigavolt Havoc. So he does make the quick attack play, which I completely agree with. I wouldn't I wouldn't have clicked anything other than quick attack there. Okay, Adam's timer was going down. So yeah, basically this confirms I don't think he has a move to Oko this with the Magina. He needs damage on his first, so he goes for Fega with the Medicham. Pins is going to click return and get another kill. And then it comes down to if the Magiona has the correct set to win the game. I'm kind of thinking that the Magiona has a Z Focus Blast with Bolt Beam. And I want to know if the Fega damage is enough to kill the Pinsir. Uh, Magiona or you Shift Gear versus Pinsir or you Sword Stance. That was not Mega Pinsir, that was regular Pinsir. Uh, Thunderbolt does 78 to 93, so the damage is enough. He did sack off the Medicham and now it all, come, it all comes down to this. The question is, will ICT switch out into Ferrothorn or into um, Tapu Bulu predicting the Thunderbolt? He does just get damage off with Earthquake. There is the shift gear. I mean, yeah, that was that was correct play Earthquake because he had to shift gear. He had to shift gear to outspeed this and Earthquake brings that wrench from Quick Attack, so ICT has the game. ICT did not choke there. Um, I was a bit surprised by Earthquake doing that much. I think I, I was assuming Earthquake would only do like 70 and wouldn't kill with Quick Attack. But that obviously speeds it up. Like that makes it easier for ICT. Because if Earthquake into Quick Attack did not kill, then it would have been like potentially really close. Because Tebow would have killed this and if he has all out pummeling and kill the Ferrothorn. And even if ICT pivots out on the all out pummeling, if he gets the solar boost, Focus Blast might still kill the Ferrothorn. So thank you guys for watching. Um, we had ICT playing for Team Germany, and I'm gonna still try to find out which team was Adam on. Which team was Adam on? He is on US Metro, and they are 12 and 15 now, so they're probably they're kind of doing not that well. But ICT thankfully picking up the team, the win for Team Germany. They are 14 and 13. I really want them to win. 
because uh, I'm German and yeah, you guys should know this if you watch me. And yeah, I'll see you with more World Cup coverage. I think this is okay when I only have two games in one video. Like it's maybe a bit too much for some people, but it's still better than three. Like I thankfully I have the second laptop there and the other in my room that I'm <laughs> looking over to. That helps me out here so I don't have to do three videos in one game. But yeah, I'll see you with more World Cup coverage later and peace out friends. Bop!